curling legend Jones caps four-player team career with loss to Hasselborg at Slam. Toronto Jennifer Jones was mid-answer in a post-game media interview Friday when her youngest daughter tugged at her leg and gave her a reminder of why her decision to retire was so difficult. The legendary Skip's voice cracked as Skyla yelled out don't, just as her mother was discussing why the time was right to leave the sport. The hardest part for me is our daughters don't want me to retire, Jones said. So I feel bad because she really doesn't want me to. The Winnipeg Skip's long run as a four-player team member ended moments earlier with a 7-6 loss to Anna Hasselborg at the Princess Auto Players Championship. The result put a bow on a long goodbye Jones announced her retirement plans last February and capped a career for the ages. I think it's the right time and it's the right decision, she said. I've devoted the majority of my life to trying to be good at curling. I'm looking forward to seeing what my next challenge is going to be. Skyla's older sister Isabella took in the round-robin finale from the coach's bench along with Jones's former teammate Don McEwen, who flew in the day before as a surprise. I just felt like it's one of those times in someone's life where you can't miss it, McEwen said. Hasselborg scored three in the sixth end to turn the game. Jones made a tap for two to tie it but her Swedish opponent controlled the last end and made a nose hit for the win. As simply the best blared from the speakers at the Madame Athletic Center, the parade of extended hugs began. Teammates, opponents, daughters, husband Brent Lang and other supporters many with tears welling in their eyes were on hand for the moment. It's very surreal, Jones said. I don't think it has really sunk in yet. It, probably, will, next season when everything starts and I'm not curling. Honestly I can't believe everything that's happened since I made the announcement. I'm very grateful. I've received so many kind messages. I've had this deep love of the sport and it has grown even more in the last six weeks. Before the game, fans gathered near the sideboards to watch the teams throw their last stone draws. Karen Stratzma of Brampton, Ontario who brought a Jones jersey and assigned cowbell for the occasion said it was important for her to watch Jones one last time. She's not just a player, she said. She's everything to curling and all over the world. Jones addressed the near-capacity crowd after the game and promised to sign every last autograph. She did just that, taking selfies and talking to spectators before hanging around at ice level as recreational players took to the four-sheet facility. Jones needed a victory in the round-robin finale to qualify for a tiebreaker at the season-ending Grand Slam event. Instead it was Hasselborg who made the top six cut for weekend play. Jones, a six-time national women's champ and 2014 Olympic gold medal list, still plans to compete in mixed doubles with Lang. I just think she's one of a kind, McEwen said. I don't know if there will be anyone like her again. Earlier. Ottawa's Rachel Homan locked up top spot in the women's standings and a berth in the semifinals with a 6-5 win over Japan's Satsuki Fujisawa. The top-ranked Homan, who won a world title last month, finished the round-robin with a perfect 5-0 record. Sweden's Isabella Rana took the other direct berth into the semifinal with a 5-4 win over Italy's Stefania Constantini. South Korea's Ian Ji Jim, Switzerland's Silvana Tiranzoni and South Korea's Ian Young Kim were the other teams to make the playoff cut. Scotland's Bruce Mwatt and Winnipeg's Mike McEwen topped the men's table at 4-1. Both earned semi-final berths. Brad Gushu of St. John's, NL, Italy's Joel Retornas, Scotland's Ross White and Sweden's Nicholas Eden rounded out the playoff teams. The finals are scheduled for Sunday. Even with playoff spots on the line, the other sheets received minimal attention from the crowd. This night belonged to Jones. For me, it's just even with the longevity of it all, I'm always wanting to get better, she said. To this very day, I still want to get better. I've never lost my love of the game. Gregory Strong, The Canadian Press. Baltimore, AP, Freddie Peralta struck out 11 in 6 outstanding innings, and the Milwaukee Brewers hit three home runs in an 11-1 rout of the Baltimore Orioles that included a bench-clearing incident in the sixth inning Friday night. 
Gary Sanchez, Willie Adams, and William Contreras went deep for the National League leading Brewers, 9-3, who have scored 47 runs in their last five games. They scored three runs each in the second, fifth, and sixth to take the series opener. Intrigue build for the Miami, AP, Max Fried's start to the season has been frustrating. The Atlanta Braves left-hander didn't make it out of the first inning of his season debut against Philadelphia. In his second start, Fried needed 37 pitches to get out of a six-run first. Fried bounced back strongly Friday night, tossing six innings of one-run ball with four strikeouts in an 8-1 win over the Miami Marlins. The 30-year-old left-hander said he felt more like himself in the outing. He limited the Marlins to just foo. Toronto teen swimming sensation Summer McIntosh added another first-place result to her resume Friday, winning the women's 100-meter butterfly at the Canadian Swimming Open. The 17-year-old from Toronto swam a personal best 57.19 seconds at the Pan AM Sports Centre. She touched 0.05 seconds ahead of defending Olympic champion Maggie McNeil of London, ONT. Mary Sophie Harvey of Trois-Rivières, Quebec, came third with a time of 58.05. McIntosh said she has a lot of respect for McNeil, both in Baltimore, AP, Freddie Peralta struck out 11 in six outstanding innings, and the Milwaukee Brewers hit three home runs in an 11-1 rout of the Baltimore Orioles that included a bench-clearing incident in the sixth inning Friday night. Gary Sanchez, Willie Adams, and William Contreras went deep for the National League leading Brewers, 9-3, who have scored 47 runs in their last five games. They scored three runs each in the second, fifth, and sixth to take the series opener. Intrigue build for the Another night Another summer Macintosh win in the pool. The 17-year-old swimming sensation led from start to finish and touched the wall first in the 100-meter freestyle on the second night of finals at the Speedo Canadian Open at the Toronto Pan AM Sports Centre. It was a stacked field with Macintosh, Penny Olechik, Maggie McNeil and Mary Sophie Harvey all squaring off. Macintosh was first at the 50m turn and surged to the finish stopping the clock in a time of 53.90. Watch Macintosh leads F. The 2024 Masters got underway Thursday with 13 lib players in the field of 89, led by defending champion John Rahm. By Friday evening, eight remained. Mizuhara is accused of stealing $16 million from the Los Angeles Dodgers star. Both players should be first round picks in June. Counselors in Renfrew, Ontario, have voted to hand over to provincial police the findings of a fraud investigation that examined the troubled expansion of the town's recreation centre the decision comes after councillors received legal advice during a closed-door session Tuesday evening, and includes a directive to staff to also launch a civil case claiming fraud, fraudulent misrepresentation, and breach of duty of good faith. For now, the town is not identifying any individual or company it's seeking. The Nuggets suddenly need some help if they want the number one seed. On his very first shift in the NHL, Matt Rempa dropped the gloves and fought veteran Matt Martin. Since then, he has taken photos with adoring fans at a cheesecake factory and has had his name printed on custom t-shirts and chanted at Madison Square Garden, whether he is in the game or not. Rampamania is in full bloom for the New York Rangers and their 6'8", 241-pound rookie, who has become something of a hero. This is almost solely due to his five fights in his first two months on the job. The NHL legend shares five children with Janet Gretzky, and they've each chosen their own paths. The Duke of Sussex took part in the Royal Salute Polo Challenge to benefit Harry's charity, Sente Bale, where he was joined by Argentine polo player, Nacho Figueiras. He's as old as one of sport's longest-running tournaments, but Gary Player boomed a T-drive that many a quarter of his age would be content with to raise the curtain on the 88th Masters. What a look from Garcia. Utica, NY. Alex Carpenter had two goals and two assists, and the defending champion United States advanced to the World Women's Hockey Championship semifinals with a 10-0 blowout win over Japan on Thursday night. 
Abby Murphy had two goals and an assist, while Captain Hillary Knight had one goal and three assists. Caroline Harvey, Tessa Janek, and Lacey Eden all pitched in with a goal and an assist. Kirsten Sims and Joy Dunn also scored while Megan Keller and Kendall Coyne Schofield had two. The round three tee times will appear here after the conclusion of round two. If you have a $500 portfolio, discover 2024's hidden gem. Unravel the secrets right here. The leaderboard for the day two of the 2024 Masters at Augusta National is being constantly updated with the scores of top golf players. John Rahm went from fighting for the green jacket a year ago to fighting back from below the cut line at the Masters. The defending champion was six over Friday and in danger of missing the weekend after a three-putt double bogey at the PAR 414. Ricky Fowler, Fred Couples, Jordan Spieth, Nick Faldo, Matt Fitzpatrick, and Tyrell Hatton all joined the fun light-hearted tournament on April 10th.